Jay, a huge congratulations on the goal and the three points. Just how good did that feel? Yeah, it was a massive relief for not just me, but for the whole team. Um, I think the last couple of couple of months, weeks have been quite tough um, for me as well, personally. I think I'm a normal human being. I see what everyone puts everywhere and it, it, sometimes it does hurt. And um, today to just go out and prove all the doubt was wrong and, and put a performance and get a, get a big goal in such a big game for what, what, what is for us. And hopefully we, from now we can just build and keep pushing up that table. Like you say, after you get a win after a period of results that haven't gone your way, does it feel like a bit of a weight lifted and also a huge confidence boost? Yeah, for sure. I think um, the last couple of weeks we've been so close and been lo like losing in the last minute, and that's just that comes down to sometimes just being intelligent and clearing the ball sometimes, maybe then trying to play out. Um, but I think, yeah, for that goal to go in and to get the three points puts us in good stead now for the last couple of games we've got, and hopefully we can stay away from, from that bottom three. Did you feel like you were really good value for, for the three points today as well and con controlled the game for the most part? Yeah, I think that's been quite a big theme for us the last couple of couple of games. I think we've controlled games massively and we scored some goals, we've conceded some goals, but I think mainly we can we control the game most most well most weeks I think and it's just getting that fine bit of detail um, in the final third or in the defensive half that's either gonna win us the game or like even draw draw us the game. Was that a real fighting performance from yourselves out there today as well? Yeah, I think so. I think with the new gaffer coming in, I think he's he's drilled into us that like we could be in trouble. So we've got to go out and make sure we play with with passion and heart. And like I said, every, no one's going to think we're in trouble now because we've got a big three points today, and we just need to keep going and keep building on that. Like you say, it can it can be daunting when you go through one on one like that with so much time to think about the finish. But were you always confident you'd stick that in? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, like I said, like. I've, took some stick recently with missing some big chances and sometimes it's, it's quite hard for, for me as I'm trying to lead the line in my first season in the championship and just trying to do my best for the team and when the chance come through like that I've never had a one-on-one -on -one so nervous like everything's going through your head like obviously when I was at their place I put it put it in the top right on the keeper side and then you're going and you're like stuttering you're looking around and yeah luckily it just found the back of the net. And that's an impressive 11 goals on the season for you so far, but I'm sure you'll be keen to add to that now going forward. Yeah, massively. I think obviously forwards are going to go through dry patches where they don't score, but my main thing was just to keep working hard and keep bringing something to the team that, that others don't, don't bring. Um, like if, if I'm chasing a ball down and they kick out of play, we win a throw in and that can build us. And sometimes we just need that. Um, I think it just gets us up the pitch. And yeah, like I said, I, I come here expecting and hoping to get at least 10 goals so to go past that and just want to keep keep pushing on and keep taking this place this club where it should be like you say you work so hard for the team you chase down every single ball you I mean you're running numbers must be off the charts every week but how great was it for the for the chance to finally fall to you and get a bit of luck after what seems like a period where we haven't had anything fall for us yeah i think that's just that's just part of my mentality i think um i thrive off working hard for the team and if it's winning a tackle or getting a block sort of sets the tone for the rest of the team and for the crowd. I think the crowd like to see players that are running round and working hard and yeah, like I said, for, for one just to come so nicely and with such a big chance in such a big game, it was I couldn't have, couldn't have wished them a better day. You played some good stuff in that first half, but what was what was the message from the gaffer at half time? Did he did he know that you could push on and win that game? Yeah, I think it's like it's a running on theory, I think like there's been games where we've come in at half time and gone out and conceded two in the space of ten minutes. I think that that's where we need to not grow up as as a team, but I think we need to get back to being like we are a very good team. If you look at the, some of the players out there. You got Koji Baka, and then you go through the middle. You've got some unbelievable players, and then the centre halves put their bodies on the line today, and they're an unbelievable back four. And then you got you got Big John in goal, who who made some big saves in on against QPR, made a big save as well, and that gave us a chance to try and get a point and. Like I said, if it, that weren't our day, but luckily today was, and we can just keep building from now. Uh, defensively, after like you say, it's a first clean sheet in nine games. Was it a real team effort to get that? Yeah, I think so. I think the back four have been brilliant all all season. To be honest, it's just some sometimes it's it, like that like Saturday he scores an unbelievable goal, we lose two one. Sometimes that's just football, but I think today we everyone put their body on the on the line, especially the defenders, um, and yeah, that helped us get the clean sheet. Absolutely. Just finally, exceptionally well supported by the Blue Noses today. They certainly played their part. 
Yeah, massively. I think a top credit to the crowd because they, they travel everywhere, even when we're in the sticky patches. Um, but yeah, they're, they're amazing today and just hopefully we can just give them what we want. Okay, thank you very much and thank congratulations. You. Thank you.